Unforgiveness. How we learn to forgive others in four minutes. Now, this was written by Lynn, our church member. She's one of our original members of God's Church of Love online. Forgiveness will probably be the number one reason some of us may not make it in the rapture. The Lord's Prayer is considered the perfect prayer. I want you to note the passage. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We are told in the Bible that we're not to judge others. Unforgiveness is a means of judgment. Matthew 7 verse 1 through 4. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? We are warned that we must forgive others to obtain the Father's forgiveness of our sins, no matter what the argument might be. There is always two sides of the story. Remember, all of us are human and make mistakes, sin, whatever. Each person has a different perception when they approach a problem. But either way, it is not a loving action when one does not forgive. Matthew 6, 14 through 15. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you your trespasses. Mark eleven twenty five. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. This is conditional. You need to do the first action to have the father do the next action. Matthew 8, 35, so also my heavenly father will do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother from your heart. Hmm. Luke 6, 37, judge not and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive and ye shall be forgiven. Luke 7, 47 to 48, therefore I say unto you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Hmm. We can see that if you do not forgive them, Jesus says that your love of others is little. Jesus' ministry was totally based on love. It is not acceptable to hold a grudge. Do you really think that Jesus wants everyone in heaven being bitter towards each other? He might as well not have a heavenly place if he transports all the people on earth who do not follow his rules. We are already in that mess. Have you ever warned your children not to do something? Did you ever tell someone you loved that their life might be in danger if they did this or that? By the same token, I am here to tell you that you may be in danger if you do not correct what the Lord deems is wrong. Your salvation is hinged on following the commandments, forgiveness of others, and treating others how you would like to be treated. When these simple biblical rules are not followed, we are no longer on the narrow road, which leads to salvation. The Lord delights in mercy. This is the whole reason he died. It was so that our sins would be forgiven. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's 1 John 1, 9. This is conditional. You must confess your sins and repent to be forgiven. 
This means you do not keep going back and doing it again. Mark 1, 4. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Luke 3, 3. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. How to forgive others. Most of us have tried hard to forgive others for what they've done. Whether they are in the wrong or not, our job is to make sure we give forgiveness. Our salvation rests on this willingness to forgive. What should I do to be able to forgive someone? Get on your knees if you can. Either way, pray to God in Jesus' name. Here you go. Heavenly Father, I'm a sinner. I've not forgiven. And then mention their name or the group. I am having trouble with forgiveness and need your help. Please heal the hurts and the anger I feel when I think about that particular person or group. Take all bitterness and unforgiveness away from me now. Help me forego my need to get even. Give me the ability to forgive and fill my heart with love. Help heal my heart in Jesus' name. Do this prayer every day until you feel that if you saw this person on the streets, you could have a nice conversation in peace and then move on. Forgiveness does not mean you have to have lunch with that person, but it means there's no more animosity. Try this. God will heal your wounds if you ask. Remember, he wants you to be with him in heaven. He can accomplish anything. Yes, he can. P.S. For more info on forgiveness, you can go to a, a YouTube channel called Mike444. Forgive others of their sin. That's the title. God bless you as you venture in to a new level of mercy.